bid thee welcome, we bid thee share our feasting and our revelry, our music and our company. But ere our feast we now begin, we must prepare ourselves within. For a proper feast in a proper year demands a proper atmosphere. Columbus has not yet discovered this place, so all that is modern we must erase. The year is 1478, so dream with me. Tomorrow can wait. Let's dream of the names we might have been. A duke, duchess, king, or queen, perhaps a baron here or there. The titles are free, so why should we care? <laughs> Let's dream of the castle and of the king, and dream of the music that they do sing. Let's dream of our carriage out by the gate. Let's dream of the wenches that on us do wait. So, close your eyes, and with all your zeal, dream that your dreams are coming real. Tonight, let not reality intrude upon our company. Trumpets, blow thy clarion call, and singers, hide thee to the hall. Ding dong dong, ding dong dong, ding dong ding dong, ding dong ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Door and slip back the lock. Who tripped to the door and pulled back the pin? 
ladies, from the host of this castle, hear my toast. Drink it well, hear that I bid thee wassail. Down with him who won't say, drink hail. Drink hail!
So I took these students to the Renaissance Fair in Pennsylvania, Alpha by Lebanon, PA. And we competed in the Magic Alien competition, a singer's competition, where it was adjudicated by three professional singers and ranked based on our scores. Um, I guess a number of different schools, both in the South Jersey area, the Philadelphia Performing Arts High School, a couple schools in Pennsylvania, and we were ranked against all the schools for uh, a ranking. And this group you see before you took home the first place prize. <laughs>
that? Oh, it's called algebra. It's a new invention. It was originally used as a means to torture prisoners of war, but then they found out it might actually be useful. I found it in Barnes and Nobility, in the bargain <laughs> We're next to alchemy for dummies. And ye idiots die into a flat world. <laughs> My, I didn't realize their situation was so dire. What's, what's to become of them? You'll find out soon enough. But for now, let's visit an ordinary street in your kingdom and find out what your royal son can be really think. We've got taxis that are high, we've got homies in the street, we've got lots of
side while she gets a toe. But I can't, because I know <laughs> I am not a natural joker. I'm less than mediocre. I might as well just quit. Because <clears throat> my humor isn't quicker, even hyenas wouldn't snicker. Because I just, just don't, don't have a you for being a failure. Everybody hates me. I'm worried my subjects will revolt and try to overthrow me. I want better for my subjects. I just I want to be a good king. Actually, your problem is east and soft, sire. Let your daughter marry your love. Joining the kingdoms will bring peace, and you can seal the marriage deal with a pact that will increase your territories. <coughs> Ask your brother to come back and be your prime minister. He's a born leader. His ability to handle the people with tact will ward off any future aggressions. Will end the need for the expensive wars. Actually, if you take the annual salaries of the fund, consolidate the funds, invest in pork belly futures, oh. <laughs> take the five, carry the one, and voila! In two years, you'll take the budget from a deficit to a surplus. You can lower the taxes, create new jobs, make a better school system, pave the roads, and. Buy your wife a nice piece of jewelry for your next anniversary. <laughs> hey. How did you do that? Well, simple macroeconomics, sire. <laughs> What's that? Well, it's the art of managing economic activities and dealing with the issues of growth, inflation, and unemployment in regards to national economic policies relating to these issues in order to properly run a kingdom and keep the people satisfied. Huh? <laughs> uh, well, let me explain it this way. Uh, tax that tax to break the peasants back. Get to the axe, get to the axe. The war distracts and gets our country sacked. And that's a fact, and that's a fact. So how do we lower the tax? With a pact, with a pact. And how do we stop a tax? With tact, with tact. Lowering the tax will have I think he's got it! <laughs> A marriage contract will bring my daughter back An abstract track that we can now enact He comes in tact The plan we back will soon get us on track And we relax So how do we lower the tax? Of 
of my daughter Lydia and her prince Charmin. <laughs> and I now invite you all back to the palace for a dessert buffet, complete with wassail, coffee, and cake!
ding a ding, ding a ding a ding, ding a ding a ding, dong, ding a ding a ding, ding a ding, ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding, ding a ding, ding dong, ding a ding a ding.